All right, quarter till seven. Tom is back with us tracking some storms around this Tuesday. Yeah, that was a complicating factor yesterday. If you watched our live coverage from out at the uh, Barbasol Championship out at Keen Trey, so we had to contend with them through the afternoon. We've got a few firing this morning, but unlike yesterday, I think they'll mainly be this morning. And this is what it looks like from our weather bug camera in Jessamine County. You can see the wet pavement, a recently passing shower. Uh, possibly even a thunder shower. We've had some lightning associated with some of these. And if we get a look at uh, the big picture, there's a cold front on the move. But the good news is this is a frontal boundary and there's another one behind it that will essentially track south and wash out. This is a boundary that's going to usher in drier air and eventually put the kibosh on this active weather. But we've still got some occasional showers and thunder showers firing out ahead of that front. Behind it, though, drier air. We're going to talk about that in just a second. So. Here's the Max Track Live. You'll notice not a whole lot in the way of activity if you're anywhere north of 64. It's all along and southeast of this boundary. And we've got numerous showers, some heavier rain, and as well some lightning firing this morning. Uh, pretty good cluster from Richmond. This one is the one that just went through parts of Jessamine County. Another storm right through uh, northern and uh, central Casey County there north of Liberty. Uh, but here's where most of the activity is closer to home. Quite a bit of lightning east of Irvin moving into Beattyville, and these are all tracking off to the east-southeast. So watch out as you're driving this morning, and uh, this should be confined to this morning. We may see some of it trying to linger into our southeastern counties for later on this afternoon, but big picture shows it's not a lot. The severe weather chance is actually up over New England states today where they have a slight risk for severe storms up around Boston and uh, points farther north and east. In your three-day Barbasol Championship forecast, we talked about how it was slowly getting better yesterday. We're almost there. Tomorrow is where the good stuff hits. Low 80s, lower humidity for the Pro-Am. And the first actual round of golfing, the tournament, begins Thursday. And it should be a nice day for that. A warm one, a little muggier. Unfortunately, I'm tracking increasing chances for showers and storms, though, this weekend. Future track shows, even into the afternoon, stray shower, isolated thunder shower, mainly far southeast. Shouldn't be a, fo a focus here in the bluegrass. And then tomorrow, yeah, we're sitting pretty, mostly sunny skies. We're still in the mid-70s. It is still pretty steamy out there. Dew points in the low 70s. This is the other impact of this cold front. It's 74 now. The dew point is in the low 70s, which basically means it is pretty muggy. All you got to do is look at that legend on the side of the screen here, the muggy meter, if you will, and uh, it's pretty sticky. As that number lowers, it's an indication of the humidity dropping. And look what happens. This is the future track still on the muggy side today. But tonight and into tomorrow, this is the effect of that northwesterly wind. It does dry out. So tomorrow, the sweet spot. Still warm, but lower humidity, more comfortable air. It doesn't last very long. It'll start to build again, that humidity, into the weekend. So enjoy it while you can. Mid-80s, a few showers, a stray storm early, mostly sunny later. Mid-60s, mostly clear, quiet tonight. Tomorrow, nothing short of spectacular. Low 80s, maybe some mid-80s south. And uh, just a beautiful day. Thursday still pretty good. Friday we'll start to see a chance for some scattered showers and thunder showers. The storm chance, maybe some strong storms. That peaks Saturday, so Saturday will be a problem. And you could even see some lingering showers and storms all the way through the end of the Barbasol uh, Championship, which runs all the way through the weekend.